Hey guys, welcome to this video. If you're new here, I'm Aurelie, a lettering artist from the Gold Coast in Australia. I sell online courses and digital resources for lettering artists, so if you're interested, make sure to check the links in the description down below. In this video, I'm going to share with you my method for creating a stroke or an outline using Procreate and Vectornator. So you may or may not know, but Procreate doesn't allow you to create a stroke or an outline automatically. And I used to draw my stroke entirely by hand using a normal brush and go around the edges to create my stroke. But obviously this method is very time consuming. So I found a way around it and I actually use a vector app to create my stroke. It's a very intuitive process. It's very simple, only takes a couple of steps and I guarantee that the result will be absolutely perfect. So this method will definitely save you time and will create a very nice result that is not blurry. So let's get into it. All right, guys, I'm going to show you exactly how I would create a stroke using Procreate and Vectornator. So this technique could work for any type of lettering, any drawing that you've created. The only thing is you need to make sure that your drawing is very clean and very sharp. Here, for example, you can see that my letters, they're very crisp, they're very smooth, they're very clean. So I'm not using any texture or ragged edges or anything like that. I have made a separate video where I show you exactly how to create smooth letters like that. So I'll make sure to link that in the description. But essentially, all I did was use a monoline brush. So you could use the monoline brush from the calligraphy brush set within Procreate, or you could use the vector pen from my free lettering brushes, which is available on my website. So I'll make sure to link that as well if you're interested. So what I've done really is just draw my letters using this brush and try to make my shape as clean as possible. The way we're gonna do this is export this artwork as an image, open it with Vectornator, make it a vector, add the stroke or the outline and then bring it back to Procreate. So in order to do that, you will need to make sure you know the exact measurements of your canvas. So the canvas I have used here is 3500 by 3000 pixels. So this is the size I like to use most of the time when I'm creating an artwork within Procreate. So feel free to use any size. You just really need to make sure you know exactly the size of your artwork because we're going to recreate the same canvas in Vectornator. So mine is 3500 by 3000 pixels. So let's click done. And what we're gonna do now is export this image as a JPEG. It doesn't matter which color it is, but I recommend for this step working in black and white and then adding the colors once you start drawing your artwork. But when you do your outline, I would recommend just working with black and white. It's just gonna be easier for this process. So let's just go ahead and export this image as a JPEG. So I'm gonna click share and export it as a JPEG. And I'm just gonna save this image to my files. So now we can open up Vectornator. So this is what the interface look like. Even if you don't know the app, it's very intuitive, very simple, and it's very similar to Procreate. So what we're gonna do here is just create a new canvas. So we're gonna click on that plus sign here and create a new document. And here you need to click custom size. And this is where you're gonna put the exact same measurement that you had in Procreate. But obviously here we are working with points, so you need to change that to pixels. And now I can go ahead and add my measurements. So the width was 3,500 and the height 3,000. And just click create. And now we've got the same canvas that we had within Procreate. So the interface is very similar to Procreate. There's a few things that are different. So feel free to play with that if you've never used Vectornator before. But all we need here really is to just know about this icon over there, which is the icon to add an image. So if you click on this, it will open up your own image folders and we can just add that image that we've just exported from Procreate. And now we need to vectorize this shape. So obviously this is 
a pixel based image and we need to make sure it is a vector so we can add the stroke so to do that it's super simple we're going to use the auto trace option from vectornator and that's this icon right there so that little picture icon so you just gonna click on that and here there's different settings you feel free to play with them but what i'm gonna use is the sketch setting and i'm gonna move the complexity up to 100% and I'm just going to make sure I have this ticked so um, ignore white so it's just going to create a black shape and ignore everything that's white in the background so feel free to play around with that and just try different settings but let's just go ahead and click auto trace that's done so you can see it's created a vector here so if I select that image if I'm using this direct selection tool here I can Kind of have a look at all of the different nodes now my shape is a vector made with anchor points which is what we want okay so the next thing we need to do is using this tool we're going to need to select that shape at the moment you can see it has a black feel to it but what we need to do is add a black stroke so i'm just going to click on the stroke because at the moment it's transparent and i'm going to add black and that's how you add a stroke so it's very simple and now if we need to change the size of this stroke we just click on the style icon over there that little paintbrush and here you've got the stroke and that's where you can change the stroke width so feel free to play with that and adjust the stroke as needed mine was about 145 point which is what i wanted for this that's all we need so now we are going to bring that back to procreate but we need to export it as a png with a transparent background so we're not going to export it as a jpeg this time we're going to export it as a png that's the share button here so that's how you export you just click on that button and you can see all of the different format you can export it as and i'm just going to export mine as a png and here you need to make sure obviously you have the exact same measurements that we had in procreate you can't really see it because it's black on black but it is there let's trust the process for this one and make sure you have the transparency activated so it means that the background is going to be transparent i'm just going to click export and i'm going to save my image to my files now we can go back to procreate let's just insert that stroke that outline i'm going to click on the action button and click the add button and then insert a photo and here I'm just gonna insert my stroke and boom <laughs> that is all I had to do for this to create a stroke so no blur option no drawing only just like two minutes to create that so let's bring that in the background because obviously we can't really see the actual drawing so I'm just gonna change the color of it to white and there we have it that's how I create a stroke using Procreate and Vectornator. It's very intuitive, very simple. And what I really like about it is that it is 100% clean and crisp and sharp. It is not blurry. It is on a separate layer. It is perfectly done. If you wanted to make some adjustment to this stroke, you could like, for example, here you can see it's a bit too smooth to my liking compared to the actual shape, which is quite pointy. So what you could do is use the liquify tool and just adjust your shape as needed and kind of fix it like that. But to be honest, <laughs> I think this is quite nice. I'm quite happy with the result and this only took me like two minutes. Just wanted to show you guys as well how I did that effect, that dimensional effect. All I did was duplicate that outline that we created with Vectornator. I just drag it down like that and I think it just created that really cool, like almost like a logo already. I've just connected the edges using a black pen brush. That's the end result, guys. Only two minutes. I'm using Vectornator because it's a free app but obviously you could use this technique with any other vector app such as Illustrator or Affinity, totally works. And I'm just using Vectornator because it's free and it's very simple to use. And that's the actual final artwork. I am not gonna do a tutorial on that because I already have plenty of courses on how I create my 
dimensional effect, how I add my colors, that empty 3D letter effect and that noise effect. So these are all in my classes. So 3D letters masterclass, retro sign masterclass and nostalgia lettering live tutorial. I go over all of these steps to create that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing what you guys create. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you're going to be using this technique again. If you have any questions or if you have another method that you use, feel free to let me know in the comments and also let me know if you guys want to see any other tutorial. If you do use this technique, I would love to see your work, so make sure to tag me. And I'll see you guys in my next video.